parent, Mochi. At just one and a half years old, he knows how to say Why do parrots mimic human speech? And how are they able to pronounce these words so accurately? Most animals are born with their species' distinctive call programmed into their brain. Cows go moo, ducks go quack, dogs go wolf, and foxes go, well, we can answer that another day. Unlike these animals, parrots are among the few, along with dolphins, whales, songbirds, hummingbirds, bats, and some primates that learn their species' communication patterns, which is called vocal learning. Mimicking helps these animals separate members of their own community from outsiders, find their mate, and prevent intra-community conflicts over territory. But most importantly, it helps them form strong social bonds. So, when parrots are living with us, they pick up our communication patterns. Just like how Mochi picked up good job and hello baby because I always tell him that. Before explaining how parrots speak, how do we speak in the first place? As we exhale with our lungs, air passes through our trachea and through our larynx or voice box. Inside our larynx contains our vocal cords, two bands of soft muscle tissue. Our vocal cords vibrate as air passes through them, creating sound, and they contract and lengthen to create different frequencies. The shorter our cords are, the higher the pitch. And on top of that, we use our lips, tongue, and teeth to articulate our words. Parrots have a larynx too, but their larynx lack vocal cords. Instead, they use something different to sing their tunes and say their words. The voice box of parrots is called the syrinx, and it's located at the bottom of the trachea, where the trachea divides into the bronchi, tubes that connect the trachea with the lungs. So, like seeing our Adam's apple move when we sing, we can see a parrot's upper chest moving when they speak. Instead of just sending air through vocal cords like we do, parrots actually control the vibrations of the muscles on the walls of the syrinx to shape and produce sound. And because of the location of the syrinx, lateralization is possible. Muscles on the right and left branch control vibrations independently. Thus, parrots can produce two separate sounds or have air traveling in either direction at the exact same time. To refine their sounds, they lengthen and move their beak. Additionally, unlike us, who have tongues made out of muscle tissue, and unlike other birds, parrots have thick tongues that contain bones and cartilage, which gives it both rigidity and flexibility. Their special tongues allow them to make sounds like the L sound in, and the G sound in. And that is why and how Mochi says what he says. And while it is super cool to have a parrot that speaks, you have to be careful what you say around them because they might pick something up that you don't want them to say.